Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the Batch Leon 15555, the Tier 9 French SPG. This one's located on the south spawn of Ruhrberg, and we're lucky because it's under the command of Clicker, and he's got three marks of excellence on the barrel. Game on! Well, this is the RT you get at Tier 9. Teaches you how to use an RT which actually has a turret that turns all the way around which means that this vehicle can actually be parked in a position where you can get a quick getaway if you need to re, um, um, redeploy to somewhere else. And he spotted a number of the enemy tanks straight away, going for a leopard prototype. Rounds out. Direct hit, first shot. 274 hit points. Now it's a 155mm. It's capable of 680 alpha, 48mm of pen, which is quite a lot. 7.6 meters on the burst radius and 12 and a half to 27 seconds. So about the same, even as some of the bigger arties in the game. Rounds out the 430. Well, he got a splash there and only did some critical damage. Didn't get a, um, some actual damage off it, just a critical hit. So somebody's had damaged tracks, I think. Now, this RT, designed 1955, that's why it's got the 55 at the end. Should actually say midi 55. Oh, that was a direct hit there. You see, the clicker stayed to see what happened to the shell. He knows it, it hit one of the enemy tanks that were hiding in that gap. So we know that one of them was touched. We don't know which one just yet, but uh, one of them was hit. Okay, he's now looking at an M5Y. Rounds out, blind shot direct hit again he's getting hits on the enemy looking around all his options okay skoda t50 looks like a good option for the next shot and we're only seconds away from shooting so long as he stays where he is but he's gone he stayed out too long and that 430 you well he's tempting a shot but we actually changed because we found the batch at 25 tap the medium He's... Oh, he stopped. Rounds out. He backs up and... Ooh, yes. That was a splash for 187. So he's well off now. And it looks to me like he hit the Type 71 rather than the other tank because the Type 71 was missing some hit points. So that would have been the one he blind hit. That 430U is also vulnerable. Rounds out. Well, he got some stun, but not a huge amount of damage, and the Gorilla 15's gone down. Now might be the time to move to the corner so that he can actually get better shots on the enemy in the center of the town. I can see that we're having difficulty getting that 430, and this 752, well, we'll only get a shot on him if he goes round that building there to try and shoot. And he does, he obliges. And we get 156. Now the 430 is under pressure because the Wizzy 120 forcing him out and he's gone. So we're six up on the enemy already. This is a fantastic game. Huge amounts of damage by Clicker. Well, I say huge amounts, but remember, he's got blind hits. We don't know the value of those yet, but more than likely they are significant. There's the Type 71 he hit earlier in the game. We can see he's down to 1,600 hit points from the 2,000. So he has lost some. And um, now we're going to try and get shots on that M5Y again. We know he's there. Rounds out. And it's another direct hit. Again, he wouldn't have known that. But for he stayed to look and see what happened to the shell. And he knows that he took the shell. He ate it. Okay. Who's next? Well, I'm not sure we can hit the E4. The IS-7 is coming in. The Type 71, he might be able to get the IS-7, but he stops, and we've got both tanks together. Oh, the IS-7 takes the hit, but the 
Type 71 does get stunned. There's the M5Y. Remember, he's blind hit that guy at least once. Possibly twice, actually, because remember, he did... Actually, he did hit him twice. He did get a blind hit. Two blind hits. And another 210 hit points. It's now 7-1. Six up on the enemy, and they are taking a punishing. And look at this! 1,469 stun assist from stunning the type. Well, it's not the type, is it? It's the M5Y. And who's next? Well, they're all grouping together on that corner. They're being forced into that corner. We've got a Minotauro, which would be a good target to hit. He's actually trying to aim to the north. Rounds out. Hits the wall. They've got to make sure the enemy doesn't try and escape by heading north. And try and uh, out uh, try and drive around or outflank our guys some of our guys ought to go in by the back door and see if they can hit oh that was a good one 365 right into the side and he got stun assist off it again he's now up to two and a half of stun assist and 1.3 of actual damage plus of course remember the, the blind shots the minotaur is so hurt he's actually pulling back that e75 is now one shot the IS-7 just took a hit. He's a one-shot too. I'm not sure we can get a shot on him, though, because the buildings are helping him. Rounds out. Goes long. Okay, the enemy arty was hiding right up in the corner. The Type 68 did go in by the back door, found him, and now I think the M53 just drove straight past the strip 103B on our team. Okay, Minotauro. But behind him is the E4, and we haven't hit the E4. But we fire at the Minotauro, get a direct hit. The M53 just blew up. The Type 68 got him. There are very few enemy tanks left, only three. I'm going to try and put a round into the side of the Minotauro or the E4. One of the two will do. Looks like it's going to be the, uh, the E4 because he's the only one who's actually... Um, so he fires the round in, splashes him, stuns him, and gets 724 stun assist. The last tank, the E4, is fighting for his life. And that's it. Game over. Well, that was a pretty furious battle there by Clicker, and it's another ace tanker for him in the Batchatillion 155 55. He managed to get a Bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 10, and he got a Confederate medal for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. At least six tanks subsequently taken out by other teammates, and every tank he fired at was hit and taken out by uh, his team. Therefore, all of them count towards the Confederate. Let's have a look at team score. Well, he didn't get the highest damage in the game. No, actually, that went to the E4 on the enemy team. 4,101 hit points of damage. Second highest was the Strip 103B. 3,904 hit points. And third highest, well, that goes to the IS-7 on the enemy team with 3,768. We can see that Clicker managed 2,250. So it's, it's his higher than the amount that was actually showing at the end of the game. When it came to kills, though, he didn't get any kills at all. But as I said, that actually helped him to get the awards. And the top scorer was the Skoda T50 on our team. Three kills to him. Two kills to the BZ-75, the CS-63, the T10. And on the enemy team, their IS-7 and their Minotauro both got two kills. When it came to base XP... It was Clicker. Yes, he got the most because he got blind shots in there as well. He was getting stun assist and he didn't even know he was getting stun assist some of the time, but he was getting a lot. 1,062 base experience points. He's the only player to get over 1,000 base in the game. Next highest is the Type 68 on his team with 993. And the third highest was the Mouse with 976.
He fired 16 rounds in that game. He was really pumping out the ammunition, looking for targets, working out where his next shell was going to go. And it's when you do that, that's where you pick up these Confederates because you try to pump out as many rounds as you can, hit as many of the enemy as possible. So you spread the love around between them. Yes, the enemy might not like an RT round landing on top of them, but it can actually affect their game. And they don't know when the next shell's going to hit them. And it can really really change the way they play 17 splashes on the enemy 16 shells 17 splashes 2250 hit points of damage all of it at more than 300 meters he damaged nine of the enemy didn't get any kills but he got 574 of damage assist and 3561 of stun assist of 18 stuns so you're looking at um well that's 4k uh so 6k over six, nearly six and a half K of actual damage in or uh, combined damage in the game. So a very, very efficient game indeed. Now on a premium count, he actually earned a profit of 18,885 credits, even though he had to pay full price for the consumables. And he also took away 1,593 experience points out of that game as well. Let's have a quick look at some of the ones he hit during that game. The M5Y, that was subject to two blind hits in the game. We're showing three stuns in the game, but two blind hits. And um, so he contributed a lot of uh, damage to the score. Unfortunately, because it's uh, what, um, uh, what replays... We can't actually tell you how much that da blind damage was on the Salty Jedi site. Yes, we can look at that and say, ah, oh, we know exactly how much damage he got from that one because it, it actually says. But he did hit some of these guys blind, and that was one of the ones. The other one he hit blind was the Type 71. And again, you can see four stuns during that game, uh, two critical hits, and again, a large amount of damage, which wasn't counted in the totals at the end of the game but did appear when the results came out so again he had a really excellent game uh, a lovely ace tanker huge damage and of course he got the best base xp in the game i hope you like that uh, a bit of bat chat fun at the end of the day um, I am going to be doing very shortly. I have to do tomorrow's videos, but I know we've got a large amount to do. And uh, so there's going to be some really good replays tomorrow. If you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below the video because it helps the, the uh, algorithm to show it to more people. And thank you for watching.